Hey guys, it's Kyle here from Bitwarden and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of how to use the iOS app. Uh, you'll see that I have the app installed here. If you don't have the app installed, you can get it from the App Store by just searching for Bitwarden or you can go to bitwarden.com and find a link there. So once the app's installed, you can open it and the first screen you'll be presented with is your vault. Your vault consists of all your sites that are saved with Bitwarden and you can browse them in here. If you're looking for a particular one, you can use the search function to narrow down your results to find the result you're looking for. One of the nice things about Bitwarden is that your vault will stay in sync with all your other Bitwarden products. So whether you're using Bitwarden on your computer, desktop, or other mobile devices, they'll stay in sync with each other, no problem. So you can tap into an item and view additional information about that site. You can do things like view the password, or copy your password to your clipboard or your username. You can also go in and edit that information right in here and it'll stay in sync with all other devices when you save it. You can also do things like add new sites to your vault by clicking the plus button at the top right corner and that'll require you to fill in information about that particular site when you hit save. But that's not the best way to add new sites to Bitwarden on the iOS app so let's go look at that. So we'll switch to the Tools screen by clicking the Tools icon down here in the tab navigation. And this will present you with a screen that shows you various tools that are available in the Bitwarden iOS application. So the one we want to look at now is the Bitwarden App Extension tool. So if you click into there, you'll be presented with a screen that tells you how to get started and enable the App Extension for Bitwarden. The App Extension will allow you to easily add new sites to your vault rather quickly as well as autofill your usernames and passwords into websites in Safari and Chrome as well as other supported applications. So once we have the Bitwarden app extension enabled we can use it in other apps on our device. So here we are in Safari on kickstarter.com and we want to log in. So all we have to do is tap the share icon that's at the bottom of Safari down here and that will open up a menu with other apps that we can use. So you'll see Bitwarden here on the left. I've moved it over there, so you might have to scroll to the right some on this bottom menu to find it. So all you do is tap on Bitwarden, and that will open up Bitwarden on top of Safari and present us with some options. So here we can see sites that are saved in our vault that are relative to the website that we're currently viewing, which is Kickstarter. Um, if we don't see any sites there, we can clip the plus button up here in the top right and that will open a menu for us to add a new login for Safari. You can see that it pre-fills the information in here for us so all we have to put in is a username and we can generate a password from here as well. However, I already have a site here so all I'm going to do is tap it and you'll see that it auto-fills my information into Safari and I can log in. So we can end up doing the same thing on other apps on our device. Here we are in the Dropbox app, and when we go to sign in to Dropbox, we'll see a new icon appear next to the password field there. Look for this icon. This means that the app supports autofill functions from Bitwarden. So if you tap that icon, you'll see the same menu pop up, and you can open Bitwarden, and you'll be presented with logins for Dropbox. So here we are back in the main Bitwarden application looking at tools again. Another tool I want to point out is the password generator. You can use the password generator to generate unique secure passwords for all your logins and you can adjust things like how strong you want your passwords to be and you can copy them out to your clipboard to use however you like. The last thing we want to look at is this settings tab down here in the navigation. One important feature I want to point out in settings is that you can set up your device to be locked with Touch ID or a PIN code. So right now you'll see that we're set for a 15 minute lock, but we can adjust that to something more aggressive like immediately. If we turn on Touch ID with immediate lock options, you'll see that now whenever I close the application and enter back into it, I'm prompted and protected by a Touch ID. And that's it. So I hope you enjoy using the Bitwarden app on iOS.